Hello and welcome to Tammy's Dolls. This is a haul that I did yesterday. It was my day off yesterday, so I decided to go out. I had to go out anyways and do some things, which I'm kind of glad because right now we just got another blast of winter. I will let you see it here. It is not nice. I'm going to take the whole thing and show you out there. We got it up. Oh, let me see. There we go. Up in the trees. Yippers. Not much on the, I mean, you can see the, the tips of the grass, so it's not deep or anything. It's just a nuisance. That's all it is. You get some nice uh, weather there and it spoils you, but um, you got to do what you got to do. And, you know, can't do much more about it than that. But um, it's all part of the winter experience in this part of the world and probably in a few others too as well. They're getting this. Some will get it worse than others, but this is what we got and I'll just take what we got. It's still coming down, but bigger flakes now and it was a lot smaller last night. But anyways, whoops, let me get this now back to where I was. So I did, I went out yesterday and I went to a few places and I bought some things. Um, there is an antique store I've told you about before downtown in my downtown area. I'm going to this summer maybe take all of you with me on my bike and we'll go down there and we'll um, I'll show you what this looks like. But anyhow, as that may be, it is a bunch of little vendors in there and you get to look at each vendor as you go along. So anyways, while I was down there, I had to go down that way anyways uh, for some uh, tax taxes, get my taxes done. But anyways, um, I bought some things. It It is what it is. But anyhow, what did I get? Well, I got this lovely little horse back here. Let's take a look at it first. Got this little lovely horse here. I want to repaint all this here. Get this all repainted. Just brighten it up a bit. I think I might want to. Like I can see where there was some black running through it in here. I like to just kind of spruce it up a little bit. You know, I remember these back when I was little. Um, I'm seeing them anyways. And I never had one. But, um... But it had a little pole string here and the child could pull it and it's like a little pole horse toy on wheels. But anyways, it, it was made by a Canadian company called Regal. And it says made in Canada right on the wheel itself. Maybe you can see that on there. Where it says made in, you see the name Regal. And it is made in Canada. There we go. But anyways, it's nice to have some Canadian toys that, um, you know, that were made in my own country, you know, besides me getting, I love getting stuff from other countries, not, 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 no problem with that, but I love also getting stuff from my own country, and I'm seeming to find it here and there, it's popping up as I move along, so that's nice, anyways, so I did get that, you'll be seeing that in some videos, next, let's go to the next thing here, I picked up this, at the same place, I got this lovely little, um, Walt Disney squeaker Donald Duck telephone, and it is marked on the back. I was looking at it under the, mic uh, not the microscope, yeah, the, um, well, what do you call that thing? Yeah, magnifier yesterday to see that it was. But it's very hard to see probably on this camera. But it does say Walt Disney. It's made in Taiwan, I think it is. That's what, yeah, Ty I think it's Taiwan, I want to say. But anyways, it, yeah, I think think that's what it was but it doesn't matter um it is walt disney it has donald duck right there there it is right on there and it still has a good squeak to it so it's like a baby's teether toy okay let's go to the next thing now i had one of these jalopies here um i got it for john to uh, do some things with and he ripped it apart and so anyways for some wheels and things like that mine the one i had was in really bad shape so I seen this one, picked it up. It was fifteen dollars, but um, you can see right here I kept the tag just to show. But it was fifteen, fifteen dollars. But whoops, there we go. But I paid it and looked the other way, and I got another one here. And again, it's like one of those little little toys that you know, little jalopy that the the clown is in. I'm not a big clown lover, never have been. But anyways, as that may be, he's in a little jalopy, and away he goes. Made by Fisher Price. I don't know if there's a year on it or not. Made, this is made in the USA. Um, number 724 it says. But anyways, I don't see a year. But I, I'll, I'll put a guess guess on it. I'm going to say late 60s, 70s in there. You know, that idea. Maybe more 70-ish. So anyways, did pick that up. Next, I 
went to pick up a doll last night. We're going to do a review on the doll now that it's daylight here. And I picked up some things as I was coming back. My Like I was telling everybody that I was being pushed over to the Goodwill on my bicycle. Like, like it was just out of control. I couldn't control it. Um, I was trying to go home and I felt this pushed towards the Goodwill. I could, I could see the lights on the store where I, the, the part of the city I was in and I just couldn't find it anymore. I was tired that day and I bought a doll and my mind wasn't with me and the next thing I know I was at the Goodwill. It just happened. So um, I know a lot of you out there, it's, it has happened even in the daytime from when All Things Fairy got a hold of me yesterday. She was Tammy, it isn't just the night. It is the daytime too. These things do happen. So anyways, I went with it. Now I bought a pair of these lovely little blue polka dot shoes. Red on the inside. Number 13 in there. So I think these are little Chinese shoes here. Come from China. Soft shoe, you know. But who do they fit? Mary Lou put a foot up here. And there they are. Paid two bucks for them. But they fit her wonderfully. So anyways, she is sporting the shoe. So there we go. The reason I got them is, is because um, they look funky on her. She can wear those bold, silly type looking shoes, I guess, if you want to say it that way. They can make her look silly. You know, uh, with a little girl in the right dress, they could look quite nice. But they're bold type of shoes. And monkeys can get away with that look, you know, than more of the subtle look that she's wearing right now. This, to me, is more subtle and, whoops, and very little girl minded, you know. But where this looks kind of, you could get away with more of a monkey, clowny type look, you know, with her dresses. You can dress her up a little funkier. I like this on her, but I do like things like this on her. But anyways, there we go. Now, the next thing I picked up was this lovely blanket. And it's very quilt, quilt like. And I washed it up last night. I had to do some washing up. And so, anyways, I like this here. Um, it's just a, it, not every, I don't pick up too many blankets. Um, but every now and again, a nice blanket will just show up. And it's got different squares of everything. But they're nice as background when you're showing a doll. And um, just like this one's more like the quilt minded as well. It's the same idea. Just a little different of course. More squares and got this nice little fringe here. But um, on each square. But just a different little blanket. And I only paid a couple bucks for it as well. So I don't, like I say, I don't pick up too many of them. But every now and again one will hit my fancy and I, I pick it up and um, bring it home. And um, I just like them for background. Just certain ones anyways. Now what else did I get while I was out? Well, I saw these pair of pants. And these are going to go to the Cubester. Nice little spring pants. She has a top that I don't know what to do with. And I, that's why I got them. Otherwise, they would have stayed. If I didn't have the top, uh, there was no reason for me to get these. But um, they made me think of that little shirt I bought her. Which I don't know what to do with the shirt. And it came it, it came in with something I got or somehow. But these are child of mine. Six to nine months. Um, the only reason I go six to nine months on her is that she's got those big chunky legs. So um, the six to nine months she can absorb through that way. They might be still a little bit too long but we'll see. But anyways cute. They have little fake pockets on them. But anyhow. Now I saw this sweater there. And first I thought Valentine's Day. Because why? I saw the hearts. Right away I was drawn, oh that's a great Valentine's Day sweater. See, hearts. But then all of a sudden I saw this. And I went, wait, is that a Christmas sweater? It has reindeers with snow. So is it Valentine's Day? Or is it a winter Christmassy type sweater? Valentine's Day? Christmassy. So I guess I'm going to have to wear it for both. I can put it on for both. <laughs> but uh, it's a cute little sweater. And again, it's made by, oh by George, baby George. Or oh, I guess it goes this way. Doesn't go that that other way. I had it with the buttons. It was that was the back of the sweater. So, anyways, yeah, zero to three months. So, anyways, picked it up. Now for my black and white theme, I don't know why I'm picking up more in black and white dresses because I think I have enough now. I think I'm there, you know. And I, but I see one and I go, ah, oh, should I get it? Should I not get it? But anyways, I picked this one up. It was a dollar, you know, and that's why I I, I rationalize it so cheap. You know, but somebody will wear it, hopefully, and I can get it on somebody. I'm not big on black and white at times on children. Yeah, I like it in another way. I don't know. I always, like, you know, go for the pastels, but you got to be bold and go, you know, with something different. But anyways, I thought it was a cute little dress. It's made by Mac Studio Baby. I don't know who that is. Uh, made in the Philippines, anyways. Um, never heard of it before. It has a nice little ball on the back where you do it up, but um, 
it's a nice dressy little dress but anyways when I do that black and white theme it's going to look really nice and the last little thing I picked up it was a few this I picked up about a week ago but I want to show it all the same this is a vintage little diaper dress from um, Disney here uh, it's called Disney Babies this kind of came out oh I, I want to say around when my children were little uh, when Tamara my baby Tamara was a baby I think this is when this came out I remember things like this when she was a baby the Mickey and Minnie this 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 style anyways um, didn't come with no panties but I have a lot of them already that I can match with it I like it, that's why I got it because I have I have the little diaper cover but I don't have the dresses that go with it so I picked this up thinking okay I can make a set out of that but anyways, I think it's kind of on the cute, the, the very cute side. And um, let me see here. Um, no, sometimes I date them, and that helps me out big time. But not on this one. I got the odd one will date them, but I don't see nothing on this. No, but it is made by the Walt Disney Company and everything, of course. But um, anyways, I thought I'd show this to you. I thought it was rather cute. But anyways, that is my haul. Most of my haul, that was like, that, that. well, that is the haul from yesterday too. Just the Mickey, Minnie, Mickey, Mickey and Minnie uh, blouse was from another day. But um, that's what I did. That's what I got. And that's where I is. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, now I got to enjoy that. But anyhow, as it may be, it will all go. They, they're talking about a warm up this weekend. So, hey, there you be. This is what we are today. And then tomorrow we're something else. But I got to... Got to keep trucking in it. So everybody, I'm going to come back with a review of that, that doll I got so you can see her in the daylight and what she looks like. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.